So what's going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your I guess it's seventh React JS tutorial in which I'm gonna discuss a little about what the prop types and the default props are. So in the last tutorial we took a look at how you can make use of props to pass in data from parent components to the child components, right? And uh, that's actually useful but uh, in some cases you would be using a component in some different sort of parent or different environment where you might not actually need to pass in a certain prop so you would actually like to declare some sort of default values for the props right if they are not passed then these default values are used and if they are then obviously they will be overridden so what you can do is you can just do hello planet which is your class name right there and say default props is equal to and actually let's just simplify this a little bit so we can say this dot props dot num and uh, right here we can just pass in num as uh, let's just say five for now and uh, what we can do here is that we can say that uh, num is let's just say 10 so if num is not passed by the parent which is actually this this is actually the calling code for this component right so we can just consider this code as parent so if num is not passed by the parent then num would be 10 instead of 5 or you know instead of undefined which you'll get here so yeah let's just take a look and see what happens so we can see that we get right now my favorite number is 5 but uh, if I remove this and see then I get my favorite number is 10 instead of you know just getting random garbage or you know throwing up errors that this property does not exist so what you want to do next is that ensure that uh, Let's just say if you're creating some sort of calculator or something, then you want these to, you know, just give in only numbers, not strings, literally. So if I do num is equal to 5 and, uh, you know, I do list.props.num plus 5. So I get my number is 55 where I would have actually expected it to output 10 right so what i can do to prevent this or you know just throw in an error to realize to make me realize that i have passed a string right here instead of a number is that i can make use of this prop types just type checking with prop types so essentially again it's the same thing but instead what we are going to do is hello planet dot prop types and this is again an object and it would give in your prop name and the type of the object here now there are a lot of types you can just take a look at the documentation you will find all sort of types here which includes like array boolean function number object and all that good stuff right and you can actually make them required as well by using dot is required which i suspect might be somewhere here should be here yeah right there so you can just make that required right so we can say that for our use we can just pick up number and we can say that this should be a number and this is required and actually it's not necessary right now because we are just falling back to a default value so let's just omit that so okay now what happens if i see my page you see that we get a warning that fail prop type invalid number of type strings supplied to hello planet expected a number right so that kind of helps now to debug the code to see where the problem is right so what we can do now is uh, instead of passing num like that we can just pass it like that which i told earlier and clearly we get 10 as the output which is expected so that is how pretty much you work with prop types and default props and you can just set up all the prop types you want with the number of prop types you're passing and the default values as well if you like. 
So that is all for this tutorial and uh, if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one.